I'm Bear Grylls. Recently, I've suffered a midlife crisis and decided to become a pre-op male to female. Not bad, huh? I'm going to prove that I've still got it by throwing myself into the terrifying scenario of being on a cruise with your BFFs and washing up on a relentless island with tough terrains and inhabitants who not only want me dead, but wouldn't mind a piece of my protein-packed poontang pie. Yes, up. I'm going to be stranded with nothing. All I have with me is my camera crew. So sit back, grab a nice big glass of your own piss, and join us for the adventure of a lifetime. here, just south of Japan, in a renownedly dangerous area known as the Dragon's Triangle. The producers have set up a shipwreck simulation so I can put myself in the shoes of someone stranded at sea. Once in the water, I'm going to have to try and use all of my cunning to make it to the shore. And from there, we're going to set up another scenario where I'm going to be captured by one of the natives. These guys have been told to not hold back. Okay. I'm going to be strung up upside down in what the S&M community refer to as a bondage bag. My first mission is to show you how to get out of this scenario. Okay, first thing you got to do just try not to panic. Trying to struggle is pointless, as you will never be able to break free. The idea is to use your momentum and swing like a pendulum. In this case, I'm going to try and push another one of these gimp sacks into the fire so that it burns and spreads out. Oh, I think I've got it. From there, I'm going to do some Houdini and Mr. Goodwin shit and try and burn myself out of this sack. I think I've got it. Ooh. Okay, here it goes. Come on. Do this wrong, and you can end up with some really serious burns. Come on. Almost there. Come on. That's the ticket. I fall, and when I come to, I feel like I've been violated. Oh, man. I feel like... Rihanna, after Chris Brown gets home from the bar, ugh, oh, battered, oh, a real agony. Oh. As soon as I try to move, the strain on my body sends me to the floor. Oh, they just, they just got a good look at my ass there. I'm in pain. As I make my way through this shithole, I come across some fire. This is gonna warm me up. Okay, let's go. As I begin to make my way through this cave, I start to worry about collapses. The place looks extremely fragile. Right, we're gonna have to get out of here now. We have to go through here. We've got to be careful though. Okay, there's some water up there. Just try and stick close to me, yeah? I really don't know how deep this is. The real worry is not just the depth of the water. There could also be eels, water snakes, and the real risk of me being dragged under by Michael Barrymore. Oh, he just got dragged under. It's a lot deeper than I thought it was then. Oh, God. Oh, it stinks in here as well. You guys okay? It's really... Really hard to get through here. We're almost there. Though. Eventually, though, we make it to the other side, where everything is just peachy, apart from the collapse. The place is really dirty. The left there. We have to go. Come on. I have to run for my life, but as I do, the ground below my feet collapses, sending me further into the chasm. I now understand what it's like to have sex with the slut. You guys okay? We've really got to go now. This place is collapsing. 
Finally, I come to a massive pit. As I try to jump across, I lose my grip. My torch falls and our camera crew lose footage. But like a baby, I crawl out of the crusty chasm covered in dirt and blood. Oh. Woo! Oh. Not doing that again in a hurry. <laughs> There's no time to lose. I have to keep going to survive. Oh, look here, look, look. It's a tree. Great source of water. But no protein. There's nothing but sheer cliffs surrounding me. A big gap separates between the two sides. And the only way to get across is by using a log. But it's a long way down. Okay. Take it slow. Careful here. I think this will just about hold my weight. And I'm just going to try and slowly make my way across. Suddenly I lose my footing and smack my crown jewels into the log, making me wish I'd have the full switch surgery. My technique is completely wrong here. Come on, Bet. Come on. And this last bit, just quickly across there. Oh. Okay. Ooh! That was really tough. Okay, let's go. As I make my way through the area, I come to a sheer waterfall which has the rusted remains of a cargo plane in it. Whoa, look at that. That looks really dangerous. I'm going to climb it. It looks really unsturdy and I soon find out that that is the case. I'm still adjusting to climbing with these big milky fun bags in front of me on my chest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh no, that's gonna fall right, right. That's three times the worst I today. Oh. My next challenge is to negate these sheer cliff sides. Oh, look at this. We've got to be really careful here. One drop down there and we are done. So just try and hold on to the sides. Just try not to look down either. God. Okay, we made it. After coming round the edge, I make an interesting discovery. Ooh, okay. Hold on, Mama Bear needs a rest. There are the remains of someone's pack here. Look at all this bullshit. Inside the bag is nothing that can help me survive. A HDV camera, a box of matches, and a shortwave radio. The rest of the area is completely barren. Let's just keep going, guys. The weather now is becoming really bad, and I need to find shelter. Oh, look at this. This is great. See, this is going to be really good here. We're sheltered from all of that rain out there and because of that we're going to be able to get warmer a lot quicker. Just hopefully we can find something. Oh, freezing cold. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at this. It's a campsite that's been used before. That's good. I'm going to get some water. Hang on. Oh, that's good. Good bit of water. Okay, let's try and get this fire going. I go out and collect tinder and wood for a fire, but unfortunately, I don't have my flint. I'm gonna have to rely on the box of matches that I found just a minute ago. And with shit luck on my side, of course there'd be only one left in the box. I really have to hope that this one strikes first go. That's it, wow, oh, look at that. Never fails to make me smile. Nature's television, that's great. With the roaring fire boosting morale, I try to get some sleep. When the morning comes, the weather has vastly improved. This is a great chance for me to go hunting for some breakfast. And I immediately spot what I want on the menu, a deer. I chase him round the corner, but he's long gone. And with no tools at my disposal, I'm going to need to find something. Oh, hold on a minute. What's that up there? Oh, God. What's going on? 
Hanging from a tree is a zombie with a bow. I hastily make my way up. And try to get the tool that I need to get me some grub. Okay, this is risky. It's about a 20 foot drop. If I get this wrong, my ankles are fucked. Right, gotta be really careful here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can do this. Okay, like abracadabra. I just gotta reach out, grab ya. Come on, switch it on. Oh, I do fall, but my ankles are fine. However, I am shit scared of zombies, so I get out of there fast. Fuck that, no way, no. Soon enough, I come across my nemesis. Okay, just gotta be really careful. Got it, bastard! Have some of that! Go on! Ah! Oh. Oh. He got away. Shit. After taking out my anger on a nearby crow. Take this, you winged bastard. I spot him again. I have to get this shot right. One. I don't, but the second shot nails him. Yes! That's the one? Okay. Yep. This guy's as good as dead. He's still moving. But, uh. Sorry. Nah, he's definitely dead. <sighs> okay. Now I just gotta gut him and get him back there. I'm gonna have to use an arrow to do this. I've got nothing else. I don't have my knife with me. Alright, uh, this should suffice. Okay, German in there! Ugh, Really tough. Oh, come on, just rip that last bit. Well, that's good. I'm quite sad that he's dead, but that's good. Okay, oh, well, hang on a sec. Oh, your brother wants some too, does he? All right, we'll take this, you bastard. Oh, and your nephew, just well. Oh, okay, all right. Well, the one in the face. Oh, come on, that was in your face, you bleeding cow on your brute. I got him. Even more meat. Great stuff. Sometimes, after gutting them, I just like to stand on their head in victory. Okay, let's go back now. Now to make it back to the campfire so I can cook up my meat. While the deer meat cooks, I decide to activate my radio and listen to some tunes have a little sing-along and boost my morale. Have a little bit of cobra, it's good protein. Have a bit of camel spider, it's good protein. I may not be the best singer, but my morale is through the roof. I love these tunes. I'm a survivor, I'm not going to... The next day comes and I have to set out again. The forest then throws a new surprise my way. A small concrete hut. Hello? Gotta be really careful here to make sure there's no predators inside. This is dangerous. Okay. Problem with this is it could be like a Fritzl family scenario. Oh, it looks okay to me. It's a long way down though. This could be a way through. Should be fine. Oh, fuck it up. Oh Damn God, it. that scared the bear. The ladder is about 25 foot down and I just can't resist having a little sing-song. I'm still in a dream, snake eater, nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay, this place is really smelly. Okay, be careful going under here guys, because uh, you don't want to go under. Carefully go around. Uh, there you go. Soon, I come to the sanctuary at the end of this underground river. Christ of life. Ah, oh, it really stinks in here. I think there's stuff dying. Ah, oh, great. Rotting meat. Stinks at all. This is gonna... Come on. This will be useful. With a new tool at my disposal, I continue further into this underground sanctum. I feel like I've been waiting through a load of horse shit. 
Oh, it's got to be a way out of here somewhere. Come on. Yes, there we go. That's our ticket out of here. A ladder. It's going to get us out. <laughs> Little did I know that outside, a storm was brewing. And I hastily make my way into a bear trap. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, come on. My main concern are the predators that live in this forest, namely wolves. Oh. All right, wolfies, who wants to peace? Who wants to fight the bear? Huh? Come on. Which one of you wants to wrestle with God? I will kill you all and eat you. Okay, nothing. Eventually, the crew have to come and help me get out of the trap. Our medic, David Spade, takes me away. Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. What do you think of my accent, guys? I'm left to rest by the fire until the next day. Now it's just time to boost some morale after that dangerous incident. Hey, yeah, guys, check us out of here. Come here. 70s bush. Simply task for really, aren't they? At this point, the producers have arranged for another capture scenario. This time, I'll show you how to escape when bound by hand. Starting to think the producers don't like me. The idea of this is to sneak off. The main thing you want to remember hey, is to keep low down. and hide behind any walls. Okay, just try and keep quiet. Choose your timing wisely and slowly make your way to the nearest exit. Oh God! Try not to attract attention to yourself. Okay, ready, go, 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 on, keep, keep going, stay with me, stay with me. This group's got you. Now how much further we have to go here. Yeah, let's keep going. What do you see? Oh, shit, get down, get down, get down. Uh, on, get behind this wall, get behind this wall, get behind this this one's clear. One last run, and I'm free. Now I've counted three, ready? Go do this. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Finally make it, and with no time to spare, I quickly get out of there. In this sort of scenario, it's best to bask in the warmth of houses that have been burnt and pillaged. The burning embers of the families inside Act as excellent warmth. Try not to get any bits of ash in your mouth. Oh, I think I just got a bit of burnt baby ash in my mouth. <laughs> with all the buildings around me, I decide to go with Yaz's first law of physics. The only way is up. The whole village below has been completely decimated to think that hundreds of people and animals lost their lives. With this boost in morale, I carry on going until I come across a secret cave where I hit the jackpot. Ah, oh, yes, look. Bullshit. Following the path, the waterfall is blocked off. Don't really know. My voiceover said to come here. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's go over here. In an open home, I find a big metal chest that could be essential things for surviving in here. Nah, no, just a load of rusty metal. No, I've already had hepatitis this year, thank you. With the reminder of my Bangkok holiday fresh in my mind, I get well out of dodge and carry on trying to find a way out of this shithole. Ah, oh, a long way up. I can do 
do this. Okay, come on. What I'm gonna do here is a technique known as the well climb. Because when people are stuck in wells, this is the way you used to get up. All you gotta do is use opposing forces, keep one leg at each side, and oh shit. You okay, you alright? Okay, and just try and climb out. Just keep trying to slowly make your way out. Making my way out is really energy depleting. I'm gonna need the biggest bag of protein I can get once I'm out of here. I'm really committed to this now. There's no going back, I just gotta keep going. Just take as many breaks as I need. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, I think I'm almost at the top now. After doing some gangster style zip wiring and swinging, I come to the remains of another plane. I make the jump to the other side. I soon realise it's about as sturdy as one of Bioware's video game plot lines. With the storm worsening, I don't want to be out here any longer than I have to. For some reason, I decide it would be clever to go into a wolf's den to look for supplies. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to survive. And this is really worrying me now. I just want the pack. That's all. In all the human remains, I find something of value. But I'm not going to show you what it is. Okay, let's, let's get out of here, Sharpish. I hastily make my way out of the den. And zip wire back the way I came. Woo! With my new pry, I now have the ability to climb craggy walls. Yes, craggy is a real word. After making it up the cliff so far, I come across something I never dreamed I would. Renowned in these areas as killer protein. Whoa, 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 okay, we want to be careful here. You just want to really give him the space he needs. He's already claimed the lives of these two guys here. We just want to be careful, give him a wide berth. Probably just get out of here now, I think. A little bit further up, I'm forced to jump on a crate and do some cray cray shit to get to the other side. Gotta make this jump, come on. I honed in on it, I honed in, I honed in. Come on, there. Oh, it's the thing there. Oh, look, 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 that guy over there, just a common crow, that one, yeah, he thinks he's having a shower like a human, <laughs> get out of there, you jackass, <laughs> what an idiot, okay, let's go, this discovery fresh in my mind, I carry on up the mountain, The integrity of the structure starts to collapse under my feet. This epic slow-mo movie shit doesn't win me a BAFTA. I have no idea what will. That was close. At the cliff's top, I run into the real dangerous predator. Whoa, 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 get down here, get down, okay. Right, out there, there's a man on a turret. 
And the problem with that is, he could open fire at absolutely any minute. Just riddle me with bullets. And there's no other way around. Absolutely no other way around here, so, uh... Okay, we're gonna have to just try and get past this. Uh, it's probably not gonna fire though. Okay, let's head out. He immediately opens fire. Okay, what we wanna do here is just try and negate this situation. We wanna dodge the fire. You're gonna stay out of the line of the bullets. Try and uh, just make yourself look as inconspicuous as possible. Maybe try and. Uh... Okay, ready? Let's go! Right. Okay, you with me? You with me? Right. The next one, come on. This guy's not giving up without a fight. But just stick close to me, okay? My Matrix-like moves are making it impossible for him to hit me. The club can't even handle me right now. See? <laughs> I'm just too slick. Ugh. Go last hole, let's go. Finally, I make it inside to shelter, but the danger's not over yet. Hastily, I make my way to the top of the bunker, where I spot a zip wire line. I take it to the other side of the bunker, and from there, after crawling through a gap in the wall, I make an interesting discovery. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, there's just a field mice here. There's a guy in the army called Master Miller who taught me that these guys eat and kill... Oh, look, there you go. They kill and eat offspring that isn't theirs. They don't have thick fat, they survive winters without hibernating because they dig into snow for warmth. If these guys are about, there must be an exit somewhere. So let's go. They lead me straight to where I need to go. A hole in the wall. Immediately, as I make it to the other side of this room, I'm attacked by one of the natives. Piss off. My best form of attack is to go back to the room where I came from, pick up a lantern, throw it through the hole in the wall so that it detonates the dangerous sulfur gases around me. Our camera crew can't record the footage. Just complete devastation after I threw that. I mean, look at this. Carnage. This right here is the guy who tried to kill me. Just what you want to do in a situation like this is give them a light. Shut up! Give them a slow and painful death. Okay. Finally, I get what I've been looking for, a radio signal station, and from here I can deploy a message. However, it looks so old that I know it's just going to be a useless piece of junk. I was right. Oh, see, the problem with this is the only way to get a message now is to get to a radio tower. And well, that's right the way over there. I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but it's my only way of getting help. Next time, I make it to the tower. Try to avoid dying. Tackle even more menacing terrains. Successfully go skydiving. Discover a town and the prestigious secret jam mines. Make heroic leaps of faith. Pull a Kenny from the Walking Dead in search of a boat. And make this jump with hilarious consequences. <laughs>